kumquat, kumquat. <laughs> My little chickadee. And this regrew it, all its leaves. These are all, almost all new leaves. Uh, it flowered regularly, but no fruit or even buds of fruit. But there it is, not even two feet tall, short and stout. It'll need to be covered for the winter. And right next to it, in here, um, yeah, this is uh, yet to flower moon flowers, yet to flower, and, and it's got in the middle a weed that's going to be a palm tree. There it is, palm tree weed. And this is the Jojo Bee tree. Oh my goodness. I had some tasty fruit off of this. It's like an almond. Birds like it too, unfortunately. Okay, let's look at the asparagus. The, the garden of asparagus. It's in a chevron shape. I don't know why. I do know why. Because it's supposed to be a message to the aliens. When they view it from above, it says something to them, but I don't know what it means. Because I don't speak alien, I'm just an instrument. There it is, that's amazing, huh? It's, it's even pushing into new areas. I had to add more soil because this little thing is pushing forward. That's amazing, asparagus. I'm gonna add a lot more next year. Uh, let's see. This little tree, you told me to put a cup around last year because uh, the chipmunks were bothering it. And it survived. I call it a pretzel tree because see if you can see the pretzels. Um, see the pretzels? Yeah, they're there. There's a pretzel. And there's the other pretzel behind it. Anyway, they actually call it a some kind of willow. I don't know what it really is. It's a very rugged tree. This palm tree does not really like being here. It's living. And Ah, uh, yes, my cinnamon apple girl. Here she is. It got so big on top that when the winds came, it just rubbed itself raw. Oh, beautiful. Zoom well. Einschmier, it's called. It was developed in Israel to withstand hot weather. And this is a, um, what do you call it? I forget again. I always forget this thing. Mulberry, there you go. Persian fruiting mulberry. This is a very popular tree around here. They say in Las Vegas it is the primary cause of pollen. And the fig. The fig. I think there's one marble sized fig down here somewhere. And that's all there is. There it is. See the marble sized fig? Yeah, well, not even a marble, maybe a pea. I'm not sure if this is coming out. There it is. It's only a small pea size. <laughs> anyway. Figs. And I'm so happy with the Jojo bee. There's the other Jojo bee. I've planted this this year. And it's taking a form all of its own. Quite happy with that. And the uh, little weed next door. I'm letting it grow because it's such an ambitious weed. I want to see what it develops into. And if I if I was ambitious, I'd walk down to the to the bamboo, which is next to the neighbor's charming trailer. The bamboo's doing okay. You know, I'm being I'm being very generous with the water this year. Last year I wasn't so much. I don't know why. Yeah, it's the bamboo. It's all different varieties. I wanted to, you know, some are clearly doing out outperforming others, so that's why I did that. Eight different varieties I think I used. Let's see. And you know something, this, this is how I am, I know I lose my mind because I have sent you numerous pictures of these trees and every time I send the picture, I think, oh, you've never seen these, have you? But <laughs> this is why I'm out of my mind. Okay. And the, the dead sunflowers. Yeah, they, they go through their cycle and then they say good night. See the little stragglers though. Isn't that cute? The little stragglers. 
You know, they've already done. There's another one. Some of them are still fresh, you know. The stragglers. And here it's too hot for the onions to form, so you just, if you want some onion flavor, you just pinch some of this green stuff. We call it onion grass. You know, sunflower. 